All right, welcome back to Yay Math Videos uh, with a YouTube channel known as Yay Math. I'm Robert Adut. This has been awesome. We've been uh, powering through some inverse matrices um, at the YouTube studios in California, Playa Vista. It's a beach city and there's a breeze. Um, inverse matrices, what we're going to do is we're going to solve these right now. And, uh, and then I'm going to introduce why they're important another time. But right now, it's just the simple skill of an inverse matrix. Here is a two by two. Let's, so let's define what inverse means. Okay, if you have a matrix, call it A, and then you multiply it by its inverse, right? This is the notation for inverse. Then it results in identity, meaning 1, 0, 0, 1. Let's talk about why this is important. The reason this is important is to result in the identity matrix is that if you had something like this, 1, 0, 0, 1, and let's say 3, 5, if we were to translate this into equations, this would mean our x and y are now solved, right? Do you agree? Ooh, coming in from over top. This is 1x plus 0y equals 3. 1x plus 0y equals 3. In other words, x equals 3. And this one, the next one, is 0x plus 1y equals 5. So if you simplify that, basically that's y equals 5. And so your solutions are 3, 5. That's why if we can get our matrix down to an identity matrix, then it's going to be really helpful. We're going to show that in another video. Right now, what we want to just do is talk about how to do it. Okay? It's important for me to discuss why, and that's why we, what we just did. All right, we'll build on this again. But let's just talk about how to get this. All right? How would we get the matrix to multiply by this such that when we multiply it by this, would result in this? That's the goal. Again, multiply this matrix by some mystery matrix called the inverse and it'll result in that, okay? I'll show you how to do it. So, step one, get the determinant of a two by two. Boom, let's do it. Multiply the blues, subtract the reds. Mm -hmm. Multiply. I'm putting out the harmonica usually at this time. <laughs> wow, 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 determinant. Uh, that's 10 minus, well, negative 4 times negative 2 is positive 8. So that's 10 minus 8 is 2. So the determinants, to be consistent here, is 2. Next step, we take this matrix and we mess around with it. This is what we do. I don't know how they come up with this stuff. It's fantastic. So what we do is, first, we swap erroneous. We flip Flippy, flippy, switch, switch, the 5 and the 2. So now it becomes 2 and 5. All right. Hold on to your Uber rides because we're now going to change other things too. Not only do these flip position, these two, they don't flip position. They actually just change sign. They become negative of whatever they are. So if you make this negative, negative, negative 4, switch the sign, positive 4. And if you make this negative, negative, negative 2, just... So basically, these two are the result of flipping the originals, and these two are a result of changing signs, all right? And then we multiply by 1 over the determinant, which is 2. This is the inverse matrix. So this number here is determinant. So every single time, 1 over the determinant times flippy flippy, changey signy. All right? And don't forget, we have to distribute this through just like we did before. So the 1 half applies to all this action. And we get 1 half times this is 1, 1, 2. And we can call this 2.5. This is the inverse. All right, a to the negative 1. OK, the only way to test to see if it's true is if we multiply the original matrix, a, 
by the inverse, we should result in that simple one diagonal column, or that one diagonal, right? The identity matrix. Let's see if it's true, okay? So I'm going to take this to 2.5. All right. Hopefully we multiply it becomes the identity. Here we go. Okay. Let's do it in green. There we go. These multiplied by this. Rows by columns. This becomes 5 plus negative 4. 5 plus negative 4, that's a good sign. That's 1. 1, there it is. Move to the next column. All right, go there. 5 times 1 is 5, plus negative 2 times 2.5 is negative 5. That's 0. OK, I'm hopeful. Yeah, papers. It's just like in class. I'm just stepping all over stuff. And then we go over here to the next one. All right, we'll circle that one. All right, rows by columns. Take that off. There we go. All right. Here it comes. Four times negative one is negative four, and then plus two times two is positive four. That's zero. And pretty confident now that it's going to work. Let's do it together. Four times negative one is negative 4 plus 2 times 2.5 is 5. So negative 4 plus 5 is 1. So there's massive value. This is basically the matrix buster. Okay? It's you can, whatever matrix you're given, you can multiply it by its inverse and you get this as a result, which is pretty amazing. All right? Um, I don't think we need to do one more, but I'll just do it quickly. I think it's necessary, but just could be helpful. Let's go with 7, 4, 2, 1. Actually, challenge I just thought of. See if you can pause the video, and then uh, when you come back, see if you get the same inverse that I'm about to get. And welcome back, which is kind of funny to do, because if you didn't pause, you're like, yeah, just keep going, just keep, just keep going. You know. Um, then this isn't for you. It's for the people who paused. Thanks for following instructions. <laughs> All right, let's do it. First, we get the determinant. Boom. 7 times 1 minus 2 times 4. So that's 7 minus 8 is negative 1. The determinant's negative 1. Then we do 1 over the determinant, which is 1 over negative 1, and multiply by a new 2 by 2 matrix in which we flip erroneous the stuff. Remember, we swapped the 7 and 1, so now it's 1 and 7. And then we change these two signs. That becomes negative 2 and negative 4, all right? And now you'll notice that this simplifies 1 over negative 1, simplifies to none other than just the number negative 1. Put that down. And then distribute the negative 1 throughout all this. And the inverse matrix is, switch all these signs, negative 1, 4. 2, negative 7. All right. So I hope you got that, um, and I hope that makes sense. Thank you so much. Woo! Oh, it broke. <laughs> Bye.